Hi everyone, so uh, I get asked this question a lot. I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to do it. Um, I get asked a lot how to connect uh, the Volca and sync it into the pocket operator. Um, so basically these both have very similar sync functions. Uh, so they can play well together uh, with just a little bit of uh, one extra cable. So first let's listen to the sync out that's coming out of the Volca. You can hear, this is basically what it sounds like. It's essentially just a metronome, and then this listens to the metronome and plays along with it. Uh, this sync sounds basically the same coming out of a pocket operator, so that's why they can work together. Um, the only thing that you need to make it work uh, is because the pocket operator has one line in and one line out, so it has to receive the, the sync and the audio uh, in the same cable, whereas the Volca is split. So all you need to do is get one of these guys, uh, which is a splitter cable. Uh, it just takes in uh, stereo audio, splits it out into two mono outputs, or vice versa. So we're going to use it vice versa today. Uh, so what you need to do is take the red, which is the right side, stick that into the headphone jack of the Volca. Uh, so red is kind of the primary side in, uh, in all kinds of electronic recordings. So red is right, it's the, the recording, uh, it's all that stuff. Uh, so then you put the white into the sync out, connect that into the input of the pocket operator and switch to sync mode SY4. So it's gonna be uh, passing through the audio that it gets, but then also listening to the, uh, listening to the sync and syncing along with it. So now I'll just connect that up and show you what that sounds like. So I can start the uh, Volca. And then start it up and it's perfectly in sync. It's never gonna go out of sync. Uh, so that's great. A uh, couple of pitfalls is that the Volca sync is always on. As you heard earlier, um, it's always playing even when the Volca is not playing its sequence, which is different from the pocket, op pocket operators. The nice thing about the way the pocket operators work is that you can line up a big chain, set everything to play, and then set that first one that's sending the signal out to play, and they'll all play together. Um, so you have to be careful with that so that right, this guy can start playing at any time. The other thing is that when you, if you start this and then uh, get the Volca going, it will reset the downbeat to the moment you press the play button, which if you do it out of time is gonna create like a little stutter. Uh, so the, the solution to that is basically just keep time and press it on the one on the downbeat correctly. Um, the other thing is that uh, it's great that the pocket operators will pass through the, uh, the sound input as well as the sync uh, so that you can send everything into your computer through one input. Uh, the downside of that is that the pocket operators seem to, you seem to lose a little bit of volume. So I find often I have to crank the Volca up and if you have a big chain, uh, you often won't be able to hear the Volca if it's at the start. Um, I usually split out the sync and have multiple signal chains, uh, which only works because I have uh, two inputs on my audio interface. Um, but if I have a whole bunch of things going, you can see on the videos that I make. Um, the last thing is that you can sync it the other way, so use a splitter to send the send to the sync in on the Volca, but the Volca doesn't have an audio pass through, uh, so then you wind up with two audios, and you would need to plug them in, you know, record them separately through your uh, your audio interface, or whatever. So uh, let me know if that was helpful. If you have any other questions, uh, happy to help. Cheers.